Welcome back to part four of thrifting in Bangkok, Thailand. Today we are going to two different thrift stores and later on the flea market. Last time we flew to Cambodia, bought a few things from the thrift store and got finessed in the process. Take my advice, you can get out of here. It's a terrible deal. Let's see what happens this time. Just walking into this place is called Bang Bang Japan. My love going bang bang. Let's see what we can find. from 20, 2014. Some type of pad. You know, it's got the stylus. Stylus is included. Screen looks okay. And it takes some type of chips. These coin medallion things. I'm pretty sure I can find these. I've seen these before. So if I can find those cheap enough, I can pair that with this and then sell those together as a set. Uh, maybe I can find them in here or I can find them in, um, find them here or find them at the flea market later. It looks interesting, but it also looks fake. Meyer. I don't think this is like the grocery store. I'm looking at this remote control. I looked up the comps and it goes to this robot. What if it doesn't work? going to watch happy the robot is going for like um robot is selling for like 30 40 dollars and somebody got 30 dollars for this this it's faded and you see some of the buttons these are faded too this i might have to wait and hold on to to sell back in the u.s if this is cheap enough i'll buy this and i'll check the and see if this is corroded at all here's uh I would definitely pick this up if I was in the US. Uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl series. It is beat up on the top. I mean, I would probably value this at like $20 plus shipping, maybe $25. But um, from Thailand, I don't think anybody's gonna pay for this. Nintendo 3DS case. Uh, it feels a little light. Let's see if there's anything inside. Star Wars Episode One. Go Skywalker! Go Indy! Go! will be hard pressed to catch up with the leaders. 300 yen. At least that's the price it was on it. I might buy this if it's cheap. This would be for personal use. Oh, Sumo Wrestlers from 2013. Probably doesn't have any value, but if this is cheap enough, maybe I'll pick this up. Maybe we'll open this up later on. See if there's anything good or interesting inside. Look at this A box of video games. Let's see if something juicy is inside. So this is what I found, a Nintendo 3DS. It's got the manual in the box, but this thing is busted. The, the, the screen, the screen is busted. So this would be sold as parts. Um, it does not have the stylus. They're asking, so 400 bots, so it's like $12. I've seen the box. There's comps on the box. It's selling for like 40 to $50, but that is the English edition this is the japanese edition of course this thing for parts i don't know twenty dollars thirty dollars this is gonna take a while to move yeah so twelve dollars maybe if i can get this lower yeah i would buy this i mean i want to pay around three dollars for this a lot of the stuff they had priced already 160 by 100 by so like two dollars i was digging through I found this this booklet. So these are the chips that I was talking about earlier for Bandai. And it's got the cool little booklet too. I was the only customer in the entire store and it's probably because their hours are weird. 
they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And when they are open, they open late at 10 a.m. And they close early at 3 p.m. So anyone who works a regular job with regular hours, they, they will probably never make it out there. See how much we owe for this stuff? We're coming up on the moment of truth. We've seen in other episodes of, let's say, some questionable pricing. I want some more money. When I was waiting for the cashier to come up, this is basically how I was feeling. I don't want to know if you're playing me, keep it on the low. So how much is this? Uh, this one? Yeah. 60 bucks. 60? 60. Yeah. Okay. And this you had, uh, is it, this is the price you got on this? Uh, I can't give you this count. 350 is okay. Damaged. It's damaged? Yeah, the screen, well, both screens are damaged. Like this is on the bottom if you feel this. And this looks. How much do you want? 200. Yeah, sure. Okay. This is the. Three. Okay. Yeah, plus uh, 60. And one is 70 each, right? This is 400. 400. Yeah. All right, thanks. Stop number two. Let's get it. I thought I almost found something here. This is one of those game mats for Dance Dance Revolution. At first glance, it looked like it might be new open box, but it's just used in the original box. Big difference. They're only selling for about $15 plus shipping, so this was a pass. I walked out empty handed after about an hour. It was a smaller store and I just didn't find anything that was worth picking up. I wanted to show you this because as resellers, we can't just walk into a thrift store and find good inventory every single time. Sometimes we just walk out empty handed and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Next day. I said before I wasn't going to sell the DS as parts or repair. It's going to take way too long to sell it and wait for the right buyer. Now I'm thinking if I can find a place to repair the screen for cheap and sell it as a functioning unit, it's gonna sell a lot faster and it's gonna sell for more money. I was hoping that I don't have to spend more than $30 on the screen replacement. This is part one of two when I mentioned creativity earlier. I need to change my approach to how I'm going to sell here. Most of what I do back home is just not gonna work here. If you thought this was gonna be easy, so by investing more money into this DS, it should sell faster. Uh, chain LCD, 1,200 baht. Uh, and battery, battery 400 baht. Can you do a little discount, a little cheaper? Or? 1,200 baht. Uh, battery and LCD. You sell the charger? 200 baht. How long will it take you to fix? Uh, Tomorrow. Can you do 1600 okay. 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 Yeah. One hour late. I paid $44 total for the screen replacement, a new battery, and the new charger. A little more than what I wanted. I'll show you at the end how much I can resell the DS4. Three days late. Welcome to the Mill Flea Market. Fun fact, we call it the Flea Market because of the French wording, Ma Chion Push which translates to the market with fleas because stuff was sold used and it most likely had fleas. That was back in the 1800s and the name just stuck around. Here in Thailand, they called them night markets because they open in the afternoon and run into the evening. It's gonna get dark here soon. Let's see what we can find. Too bad these aren't brand new. Oh, what's this in the corner? Uh, the uh, mini disc player, nasty damage. Got the adapter. One sold for parts for 32, parts 30, working 88. What's the price? It's not good if it's. Oh, he wants uh, $30. Make it make sense, please. This is where the seller is, and this is where I'm at. 
The most I'm willing to pay for this thing is about $5. This thing has a nasty battle scar and I don't know if it works. For $30, this is the kind of level I need this player to be at. The problem is we are just too far away in price. He's probably willing to come down to about $20, but that's still way too high for me. It's not even worth trying to take the time to negotiate here because of the price difference and the language barrier. Language, Ronnie. My language is English. A lot of people love Pokemon, We've been together. but not a lot of people love fake Pokemon. <laughs> At the time, I thought this was real. It had the original tags and it looked pretty good. When I got home, I realized the stitching looked a bit off. I'm going to take another look at this. I could be wrong. If it's real, this is what I can resell it for. This Volprix is real, clean with the original tags. I should be able to sell this as new other. Sir, can you do 150? Okay. All right. I can't eat him, man. All right. Okay. Right. Thank you. Where you come from? Uh, USA. USA? America? America. Yeah. yeah. This is part two of two when I talked about creativity before. I was looking at this vintage Sony CD player, but it's not working. No sound. The base model is selling for about $50 and I saw someone's got it listed for $300. No, I don't think it's worth that much, but I'm thinking if I can repair this, add some headphones, maybe find the right power adapter, I would value this somewhere between $75 and $100 if I can fix it. It's a rare color and it's got the original case. so. I'm going to try to fix this and I will give you guys an update later in the series, so I paid $5.50 for this. If you know me, you know how I feel about remote controls. I will love you as long as I breathe. It was dark and I did a bad job of recording here. I paid 40 baht each for these, which comes out to about a dollar. The last one I paid $6 for. I'll go ahead and blast through these real quick. Samsung Smart TV Remote. Another one. Philips DVD Recorder Remote. Another one. Sony LaserDisc Player Remote. Another one. I mean, subscribe. Pioneer LaserDisc Player Remote. No comps on this one, but they're asking between $50 and $100. If you're making this face right now because you don't know what a LaserDisc player is, you need to go ahead and go watch part one. The next day. We as society oftentimes define success by only how much money we make. We rarely define our mental or physical health as success. One thing I've been trying to work on since I've been here is eating cleaner and being more active. So I started training Muay Thai with Master Tong. Him and his family, they are great people. They even have meals together with their parrot. This is the best decision I've made for myself so far this year. It's pretty diverse with who trains here. They train up and coming amateur fighters kids and of course there's people like me but i've been improving and trying to work on my form and be consistent with it i move heavy need a scale after success like it's real rain on ivy could have went to yell if you make it rain i make it shake quotes never fail focus in the wrong always yells if you put in work you prevail only put i gained a lot of respect for anyone that does any type of boxing mma or any type of combat sport because this is hard I spent $81 total on this stuff. The DS I should be able to sell for about $130 plus shipping. I'm looking at a total estimated market value of about $420. I saw this quote the other day, so I wrote it down. Patient people have a reputation for persistence. This is because they work hard towards their goals despite setbacks and delays. So whatever it is you're working on in life, keep grinding, keep trying new things out and don't give up. The other day we did sell something and it is a banger. I will tell you all about it tomorrow.